The Geneva Motor Show is the largest event on the motoring calendar by a long way. This year will be no different as the world's car industry and media prepare to descend upon Switzerland to see the latest supercars and mass market models. More and more cars are confirmed for Geneva every week, so here's what we know is coming so far, Geneva Motor Show 2018, the cars, Audi A6, with a new BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class on the scene. The Audi A6 is the oldest of the big three executive saloons. The brand has already confirmed that the new A6 will make its debut at Geneva, and it's likely to follow in the prologue-like look of the A8. Audi e-tron. It's a race between Jaguar and Audi to see who can get their electric SUV on sale first, but they'll both be revealed in production form at the Geneva show. We've already seen both in concept form and neither is due to stray far from their concept's flavor. Bentley Bentayga Fev and Bentayga V8. Bentley has already revealed the Bentayga V8 away from a motor show. But its first in the metal appearance will be at Geneva. It will sit alongside the brand's first electrified model, a plug-in hybrid version of the Bentayga, that uses the same 3.0-liter hybrid powertrain as the Porsche Cayenne SE Hybrid. BMW X4. The first-generation X4 has only been around since 2014, but the overhaul of the X3 means that the closely related X4 will be dragged into its next generation as well. First deliveries for UK customers are planned for August. A hot M40i variant of the X3 is coming as well. David Brown Automotive High Performance GT. David Brown's at it again. Following the Aston Martin DB4-inspired Speedback GT in the Mini Remastered, the Silverstone-based low-volume carmaker is producing a high-performance model. But has as yet only revealed the badge. Ferrari 488 GTO. Ferrari's tight lipped on any details about the new, more hardcore version of the 488 GTB, but rumors of it being badge GTO and special have been circling. The timing of the latest leak to the car at a dealer event all but confirms its appearance at Geneva. Ford Edge. Ford has only just revealed the facelifted Edge to the American market at the Detroit Motor Show. But the European version is coming, with a reveal set for the Geneva Motor Show. We'll only get diesels in Europe, and unlike the US, who get a V6-powered Edge Street. St. Line is the sportiest version we'll get of the large SUV. Ford Coplas Facelift, Coplas Active. Ford's littlest model has been given a facelift for 2018, and a rough detox the SUV makeover as part of it. The facelifted Coplas and Coplas Active will go on sale later in 2018, alongside a Fiesta Active and a Focus Active, as Ford SUV IPs its lineup for the industry's latest craze. Hyundai Kona Electric. Not content with an entry into one of the fastest growing segments in the industry with the Nissan Juke rivaling Kona, Hyundai is bringing an electric variant to market as well. A range of around 240 miles is mooted, be afraid, Nissan Leaf. Hyundai Santa Fe. The Hyundai Santa Fe is to enter its fourth generation, which will be revealed at the Geneva Motor Show. It's updated with a new look akin to the Kona above, as well as the brand's latest emergency braking technology for reverse maneuvers. Kia Seed. We got a pretty good idea of what the next generation Seed will look like from the Forte Saloon that was revealed in Detroit. Kia's all new Focus rival will be revealed in five door hatchback and estate forms at Geneva, with shooting brake and SUV variants due to arrive later. Jaguar I Pace. If 2017 was the year of the SUV, 2018 is the year of the electric SUV. Jaguar will show the production version of the I-Pace at Geneva. It's said to be the first direct rival to the Tesla Model X in the UK, but it won't be on the market alone for long, with the Audi e-tron arriving imminently afterwards. Polestar 1. Polestar's first model, the Polestar 1, will be on show at the Geneva Motor Show as the car begins its publicity tour of the world. Range Rover SV Coupe. 
Remember the range stormer concept of 2004? Probably not, but it was basically a three-door Range Rover Sport that never made it out of the concept stage. It's back, though, having been confirmed by the brand with an interior preview shot, as in Svo project with the quarter million pound price tag. The brand has now Lexus Ups. We've been waiting for the production version of Lexus's first small SUV since the brand revealed its Ups concept at the Paris Motor Show two years ago. It looks like Lexus will finally show its Jaguar E-Pace rival at this year's Geneva show as the luxury small SUV segment explodes. McLaren Senna We've already seen the Senna it was revealed at an event for customers at the brand's composite technology center in Sheffield, but the Geneva Motor Show will be the car's first public display. It has 660 bhp, weighs 1,198 kilograms and is claimed to be the quickest lapping production McLaren yet. Mercedes-AMG GT four-door. Mercedes-AMG's answer to the Porsche Panamera is almost upon us. A year after the GT concept was revealed. We'll be seeing the production car at this year's Geneva show with the 604 bhp V8 under its bonnet. An 805 bhp petrol-electric hybrid powertrain will come later. Mercedes-Benz A-Class Mercedes has achieved a lot with the A-A-Class, it's in the top 10 best sellers in the UK, and is the best-selling premium hatchback. The model is now entering its fourth generation and will adopt Mercedes's new family face, first shown on the third-generation CLS. Mercedes-Benz C-Class facelift Mercedes's best-selling car in the UK's best-selling saloon is getting a refresh for 2019. Expect a thoroughly evolutionary refresh, rather than a complete overhaul. As Mercedes looks to further its lead over Audi and BMW, Morgan Aero GT. The Aero 8 is being discontinued, and the Aero GT, a motorsport-inspired version of the retro-styled sports car, will make up the final eight units in its production run. The aerodynamic bodywork additions are described by the company as drastic. Morgan Plus 850th Anniversary The 4.8-liter BMW V8 engine dies with the Plus 850th Anniversary Edition, which also serves as a run-out special to the Plus 8. Morgan is keeping tight-lipped on whether the Plus 8 will be replaced and any details on the 50th Anniversary Edition. Expect it to cost well in excess of the regular plus 8's £85,461 starting price, though. Pal v Liberty. The self-proclaimed world's first commercial flying car will make an appearance at Geneva. As the brand continues its publicity assault on the automotive industry, the £425,000 flying vehicle will be delivered to first customers at the end of the year. Rimac Concept 2. Rimac's second model, following the electric concept one, will be even more luxurious, faster and more exclusive. It won't be called concept two. It has been described by the brand as a true game changer. Seat Cupra Attica. It's been a while since we first spotted the Cupra Attica, but Seat's first fast SUV will finally arrive at the Geneva Motor Show as the first prong of Cupra as a fully fledged sub brand, something that's also expected to be announced at Geneva. Skoda Fabia Facelift. Skoda's facelifting the Fabia after four years on sale, with a design overhaul promised. The sketch the brand has revealed suggests it may be more evolution than revolution. Though, Skoda Vision XA 2019 small SUV is previewed in the lurid green-colored Vision X concept, which also features a hybrid powertrain ahead of the brand's imminent adoption of hybrids. It's likely to remain largely unchanged for production, akin to other recent Skoda concepts. Volvo V60 One year after the XC60 was revealed, it's a state sibling. The V60 will be revealed. It's the first glimpse we'll get at Volvo's new 60 series of cars, which will be completed by the S60 saloon, following the V60 a few months from its reveal. Both will go on sale in the UK in early 2019. Zenvo's new hypercar. Zenvo has announced that it will take a new hypercar to Geneva, but that's it. It's yet to tell us how powerful. 
what it'll be powered by, or where it sits in relation to its other cars. The amount of exposed carbon fiber suggests it'll be the most hardcore model the brand has made yet. Though, 